So here is the electrical system. Uh, I know that's a, it's not much of a wiring diagram, but um, uh, just a quick explanation of what we've got. So we've got obviously your power source here, that's the battery pack. And then um, the very first thing that's going to happen is the on off switch uh, for the whole system. So that's the first thing. Then we go into a, a power, what I call a power distribution block, number one, which will actually be. Where are they? Where'd you go? Huh. Um, they're somewhere around here. I had them out earlier. Oh, here, yes. So these guys, um, they're little uh, breadboards that you can. Um, just stick wires in and then each each uh, column on this is um, they're all interconnected so I'll put plus in one and minus in the other um, and then go from there. So I got two of those uh, then I've got these um, I'll get back to the diagram in a minute these are my um, switches they're actually uh, reversing switch so it's only got two settings that's one way say count, uh, clockwise and then that's the other way uh, anti-clockwise and there are six pins on the bottom which I'll uh, <clears throat> I'll explain in a minute um, so anyway I got a bunch of these they're like 50 cents each so I'm gonna use one for my on off switch and then the other one for the um, reversing, reversing, you know, to go clockwise or anti-clockwise. Um, and then the pots, I'll, I'll get to the pots in a minute. So, okay, back to the diagram. Um, so one thing I want is right from the PDB, PDB1, we're going to go into a um, an on-off LED. So that guy, and he's got to be protected by a 330 amp, uh, ohm, sorry. <laughs> um, resistor um, and I, I'll have to play that by ear I'm not sure exactly what ohm I th uh, I'll need but I think it'll be 330 that should be good okay so then from there we branch off into the um, uh, the LED system so we've got a pot potentiometer which um, uh, changes the uh, the voltage and that way you know makes the LEDs um, light uh, brighter or dimmer um, and then from that it'll go into PDB2 which uh, then goes off into all the AD LEDs and uh, I think I'll have seven there are three houses each of those will have an LED in it and then the lamps uh, the street lamps and there are four of those so seven yeah so um, that's that's how that'll work, um, and then from PDB one we go over to the uh, the reversing switch. So that guy will switch the polarity of the track, and then from the reversing switch into pot number two, potentiometer number two, which will control the uh, speed on the track. So that is the uh, electrical diagram. And next, we'll uh, we'll do all the wiring of the um, the on-off switch, the reversing switch, and the potentiometers pots for short. Um, so we'll see you then. Okay. So I've decided the first thing I'm going to do is mount the um, the battery case on here. I'm not going to glue it. Um, I'm going to use some screws. I got these little uh, don't know. If these little screws that I'm going to use um, and I think that if I do it right they should, if they're going to come through the lid it would be under the track here so I think we'd be okay so I'm just going to mark those spots just going to mark the spot and I'll just do three for now so I marked three um, and then the other thing is the power cable will go straight to the um, the off on-off switch which I'm going to have here and then I've got a wee LED 
that I'm going to have here, uh, and this is a little um, uh, finish to go around it, make it look nice. Um, so the light, the LED will be here, and the switch will be here. So I got to figure out the best spot to have that. So let me do that. Um, let's see. I got to remember. Okay, so it's going to be here. So let's say about there, and then the LED will be above that. So I'll give myself plenty of room. All right, let's see how far across that is. And I can't see because of the light. Looks like two centimeters uh, from the edge of the box to the center of the switch. So two centimeters. Uh, let's write that down because otherwise I'll forget. And you guys aren't going to be able to remind me. You'll be watching like, no, it was two centimeters. And I'd be like, was it 1.5 or 3? No, 2. 2 centimeters. So, from the corner, um, so 2 centimeters, we'll mark that down, uh, 2 cm, and then this way, um, from, from the, the bottom of the lid, that looks like it's going to be 4 centimeters. Okay, so you'll remember that for me? Or not? Four centimeters. Okay. All right. So then I can actually I could do it from down here. I guess go that way. No, I think I'll go that way because then I won't get splinters and junk. All right. So let's put in that. Drill through those holes, and then the fun part is we're going to go do some uh, soldering with my soldering iron and my helping hands, um, which. I don't know, they might be my favorite um, piece of equipment, the whole, uh, helping hands. Um, I'll show you that in a bit, but those things are awesome. Because um, I was trying to solder, you really need like three hands to solder. Well, I found anyway. Um, but with the helping hands, you could do it one hand, well not really, but you need two hands still, but um, it's a lot easier. Okay, so... Um, let me do this part, and uh, I'm going to speed that up, and then we'll start soldering. Okay, so I got those holes, got this all mounted, and quite nicely, I don't think it came through on the track, so this looks a little odd, but I think it's okay. Um, and that's all solid, so I might actually leave it like that. Now, the only drawback is that the cable, wherever it is here, is a bit too short, for my liking, to reach the... Um, the the switch because I'm going to have to cut these ends off. Um, and that's, yeah, of course, of course, it's made this way around, not this way around, but anyway, whatever. Um, so I'm going to have to cut these uh, and then solder another piece of wire on, or maybe I'll solder it onto the switch first um, and then onto here so I can get the length just right. Um, <clears throat> And I think I'll probably glue this, uh, the switch in place when I uh, put it in. Because there is enough space for it to screw in, um, but I don't want it twisting around. So if I glue it on the back, 
it'll be good to go. And the LED, you can see it only just comes out. Um, so I will definitely be gluing it on the back side here. Um, and probably with the amazing goop. Um, and I'll need to wire that guy first or solder solder to him first because otherwise I'll put it in and then be like ah oh, no I gotta solder it in place so let's not forget that uh, and the wire oops gotta undo it the wirings I mean the uh, on off switch I will um, do that as well and we're gonna do the reversing switch and the pots we're gonna uh, solder them all in one fell swoop, so to speak. So, we got a couple of schematics. Um, one is, the first one is for the um, on-off switch and the reversing switch. So, um, as I said, you got six, uh, six connectors and you're like, why do you need so many connectors? Okay, so for the on-off switch, what I'm gonna do is the, in, the ends go to the middle so I'm going to have a plus N and a minus N, and then uh, the switch, when you switch it, it'll either go to this output or this output. Um, and the reversing switch, it, it reverses the polarity. So if this is plus and minus here, um, this will be minus and plus. So that's, that's how it, um, that's how the reversing switch works. And we just won't connect up this end. That's for the on-off. And then for the reversing part, looks a bit more complicated, but it's not too bad. Um, again, you've got, uh, let's see, plus N, minus N. Doesn't matter which way you do it, because um, it all comes out in the wash anyway. And then what you do is you just want one set of wires coming off. So you take this guy and... Um, do him diagonally over there, and same here. And then what happens is when you, when you have the switch over here, obviously one will be, let's say this is plus and this is minus. Um, so that's plus, minus. Then when you flip it, this will be minus and this will be plus. So, or, no, I guess, I guess they're the same. Okay, so anyway, they'll, this will uh, reverse it. So this will be minus and plus. And that way, um, uh, you can reverse the polarity nicely with that switch. Um, so I think I was wrong up here. I guess uh, the plus and minus are the same on each end. It's just you wire them up differently, depending on what you're doing. So, okay, that's those. And then the pot, the potentiometer, um, it's got three, three connectors, like that. So what you do is you, you actually, um, you put the plus and the minus on, on either side, and then that, um, that provides uh, the, the juice across the uh, resistor coil. And then this one in the middle, um, that's your actual uh, positive supply coming out. Um, and then when you turn the dial, it adjusts the, uh, the voltage coming out on that um, positive wire. Uh, and that's how you get your power um, change, either up or down, depending on which way you do the, the, um, the knob. Okay, so that's the schematics. That's what I'm going to do with the soldering. Um, so i got to solder this guy to the on-off switch. Um, and then for the on-off switch, I need a couple more wires from one end. That'll go to the, the PDB, the power distribution board. Um, and, then, and then we need um, we need to solder on some wires on here, as well as the resistor, um, which I'm going to try... Well, before I solder that up, I'll probably try it out, uh, just to make sure it's going to work okay and not blow. <laughs> I've done that before, um, so yeah. Let me test that out first. I'm gonna I'm gonna solder this guy um, and this guy because he goes to him, um, and then try the LED. Oh, and I did want to show one other thing. This is what I originally started with on my on my other 
build that I did, um, which I've since uh, sent away um, to one of my daughters. So this this was a, a motor control switch that I got on I got on Amazon for about I don't know five or six bucks, um, and it's got the you know the potentiometer here, and then these are the uh, the input and output um, things, and then the reversing switch. And this is actually a three way. It's it's off, and then one way, and then the other. Um, and I like this switch a lot, but it was more expensive than doing, doing it myself. Uh, and also, this is square, which looks fine when you've finished it and everything, but it's a real pain in the neck to put a square hole in, um, in, in this box. Um, I did it once, and I'm like, nah, I'm not, not digging this, so I'm going to do, do my own potentiometer and reversing switch. And it's a lot cheaper. It's about a dollar. Um, of course, there's a bit more labor involved. Um, but there you go. Alright, so uh, without further ado, I'm going to go do some soldering. Okay, so slight change of plan. Uh, let me just show you the soldering station. <laughs> um, and then I'll solder the um, where is it? The reversing switch here. Um, and then uh, probably just do the other stuff and show you the end result. Um, so here are the helping hands, which are awesome. You know, you can position them however you want. They're magnetic on this metal plate. Um, plus I got a nice uh, soldering iron holder, um, which means I can turn this thing on and leave it in there and it's not going to burn the house down. Um, so these these are the helping hands. You position them how you want and you can get the wire lined up and then solder it. Um, so really super handy. Um, this is the resistor I'm going to use with the LED. I'm going to uh, solder that guy on and then use one of my favorite things which is uh, shrink wrap. That is over here. So this stuff, you, um, well you cut off a small piece, okay, I'll show you this. Um, slide it onto your wires so it's out of the way. And then you solder, solder the two wires together and then uh, push the, the shrink wrap on top of it. And you can see it's, it's fairly loose. But then you hit it with the Heat gun. Heat gun. Um, which, that's it, that's the heat gun. But it gets really hot. You can't, you don't want to dry your hair with it. Um, so you, you spray that over the, uh, over the shrink wrap. And it does what it, uh, what it advertises. It shrinks. About, um, think about two times so it it holds it really nicely together because um, without that you're just relying on the solder joint that you made so the shrink wrap you put that on heat it up shrinks and uh, makes a really tight connection um, oh the other thing is my magnifying light got this on Amazon too oh the the helping hands I think they were like 20 or 25 maybe with the, the soldering iron holder. The soldering iron was only about 10 or 15 bucks, I think, um, which is awesome. It's a nice nice little one, you know, it's not top of the line, but works great. And this is um, my magnifying light, so you can open the flap here and I don't know how it's going to show up, but you can uh, magnify stuff. Um, so it makes it really a lot more handy to um, to solder stuff because you can you can zoom in on it and um, and uh, help make that connection. Okay. Oh, and here's the here's the solder stuff. Um, I bought like a, this huge coil and then put it in here and you can just pull it out. It's really nice. Um, 
and then the wires I, I'm going to use. So I'll use, um, I'll probably cut these in the middle, and I got the black and red colored wires. I bought a, a bunch of them on uh, Amazon. Super handy, because you always want them in black and red. I mean, most of the time. Um, so, and, and most kits, you know, you get like one black, one red, and then like ten other colors, which, you know, kind of useless. But anyway, those are what I'll use to solder the, um, the LED and the reversing switch. Um, I mean, no, this is the on-off switch, sorry. Um, and then this is the power distribution board. Um, it's, I think I showed it to you before. It's just like a little mini breadboard. And these, the, the, let's say the columns, and these are the rows, the columns are all connected to each other. So if you plug something into um, one, one uh, row in the column and then, you know, something else further up, then that, that makes a connection. So that's how we're going to use the PDB. And it's got this uh, kind of annoying knobs on the back. I guess it's like a Lego or something you can snap in, but I'm not going to use those. In fact, I want to glue it to the, um, to the lid. So I'm just going to chop those off real quick. And then make that kind of flush. It's it's a lot better. Um, I'll have to uh, I'll have to uh, like file that down a bit or something. Maybe use better better pair of pliers. These mini ones might be better for this actually, um, or not. But anyway, I'll uh, I'll take care of that. So um, the next thing I'll do is solder the on-off switch and the LED. And I'll uh, speed that up, and then uh, the rest of it I'll just do off camera and show you the result. All right. Before I wire everything up to test it, I did want to just correct one thing, a couple of things actually. Uh, first, on the wiring diagram, I had the the reversing switch um, ahead of the potentiometer for the speed for the track, um, but that's that's the wrong way around to do it. the The way I should have it is have the potentiometer and then the reversing switch so that the polarity from the potentiometer going into the reversing switch is always plus minus the same but then the re reversing switch just flips it and the because the switch doesn't care about the amount of power um, so that's one thing and then the other thing um, I said that the crossing I was using was Japanese but it's actually this one which as you can see right here I'm looking at it backwards, um, is the European type. So anyway, just wanted to correct those. Okay, so now I'm going to wire it up, and I'll speed that up, and then at the end I'll um, slow it down, put a train on, give it a whirl.
Okay, looks like that run fine. That's, uh, oh, well, we got a derailment, but that's because this train is rather fiddly to put on this track. There we go, that's better. And then, ah, or not. Okay, that's better. All right, now let's flip it. Watch this. Okay, it should have reversed. I guess it didn't like that. Oh, that was the on-off switch. Duh. All right, there we go. And reverse. Yay! 